No biting, guys. Welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I'm right now here with love, hopey, and glory in this beautiful dry lake. free fly all three my cars with me so let's so let's get them up in the air come on now glory good girl one two three go Guys, this was last first flight. I'm gonna activate now my drone, but it's so hot. So um, let's go get the drone. Ready? guys i have my gopro on i have up there my um my drone my drone is activated the lorry is right now not happy I can't fly. oh <laughs> oh hello go on this side okay guys let's go free fly hope you come come one two three one two three go
Okay, guys, I just want to talk right now to you about how to retrain a parrot after the bite and how I build trust again with Hope. So what happened was um, Hope bit me, attacked me. He was super hormonal and very protective of love. And what happened was I had to retrain him, repull him. No, don't hit take my GoPro off and um, it was not easy but I managed to build trust again with Hope as you can see I'm not afraid of him he's not afraid of me everything is really good right now so how do I do it step one what we did differently was we rehomed Charlie so Charlie was from the gecko like a bird that was on his own so he was like a follower hope was kind of like the leader and every time charlie was around hope was aggressive when charlie uh, when hope was around charlie was aggressive that's the reason why i got bitten on my lip from charlie oh hi guys i just got bitten by my bird charlie right in my lip and once we were home charlie things just calmed down really nicely just took off my gopro things just calm down really really nicely which is really good and then um what happened was birds just realized like oops i can get rehome really fast and i don't want to have do no no biting that no biting the sack way so what we did was we just retrained hope and hope um i put him also on the special diet again because he was also very um fat so we would just feed him whatever we ate and um, also like we spoil him a lot. So I gave him another pallet diet and um, he didn't get everything what he what we ate. So we kind of limit his fat intake. And then the other thing what we also did was um, I spend more time with Hope. So usually Hope was always the number one bird and then um, Love came out. And then I start free flying love and love those hyacinths are very needy birds so they need extra love and love is so loving and Hopi is more like kind of like opinionated and self-efficient so I just didn't spend too much time with Hope yet I fly him yet um, he was really jealous of this guy here love don't break it no no don't break it no don't break it so he was really really jealous of love and then now what I do is I take hope first out of the cage and then love. I take hope first out of the bird room and then love and just show him that he is number one again and he's not the second fiddle. No. Hey love, hey, hey Opie. So that's it. That's how I retrain love and uh, that's how I retrain Hopi. All right, without further ado, let's get them flying again. All right, ready? One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> No biting, guys. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching us. We love you guys. We are out right now free flying. We are in our happy place, happy mode, right? So we're going to go fly now. One.
Okay guys, I'll do one more flight and now I'll call this a day. This has been great so far, but it's getting hot. Here's no wind. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Glory is right now here. She just, oh, hi Glory, you wanna come up? No? I just take her out just to be out so she can burn some energy even though she's not flying. Just be with us, burns energy. And then those boys, uh, those boys are having right now a snack. Can you go fly? So guys, this is a beautiful day to be alive. Thank you for tuning in. We are done flying right now. So thank you for watching. We love you and we'll see you next time in a new episode of Caroline on Pet Salt. Please hit the subscribe button and comment below. How do you retrain your parents?